Hello Internet, if you are using a web browser like Google Chrome or Firefox that support extensions and you have extensions, you might be wondering what exactly is happening on the background with the extensions. Are they sending any information without my knowledge? What information are they sending? Because after all, you don't know the developer of the extensions. You don't know whether they are malicious or not. So luckily, there is a way to find out, on at least on Chrome, without installing any additional software. For this tutorial, we're going to test an extension called Clearly made by Evernote. It is used by 1.5 million users and what it does is it removes the clutter, the nonsense around the article and leaves nice text and images. Okay, so let's go ahead and install the extension. It should be visible under Chrome extensions. Let's go to options to see what's what's in there. And we're going to use we're going to disable any anything related to cloud. We're not signed in. The extension doesn't need to connect to internet. So we're disabling the cloud options. So that looks good. I think that's good. Let's go ahead and enable uh, this box that says developer mode a new link will show right next to inspect uh, inspect views in this case it says background HTML but it could be called something else so let's go ahead and click that a new window opens go to network tab this is where you will see the network connections made by this particular extension so Let's go ahead and open a website like Yahoo. And while we were opening, a connection was made to uh, metrics.evernote.com. Most likely, this is an analytic link. The extension perhaps sent information that you first we first installed the extension. So let's go ahead and. Is it another website? And let's visit multiple websites. As you can see, there are no connections, which is good, which means the extension is not sending every single URL that you visit back to Evernote. So let's, uh, that is something that a lot of malicious extensions do so you might want to keep an eye on that one so let's go ahead and actually use the extension right click and press clearly so the extension works now and it, it shows us this pop-up as well as two extra connections another one to metrics Evernote and one more to Google Analytics so Google and Evernote were connected. Uh, if it's red, that means the connection failed. In my case, it failed because I blocked this particular address on a firewall level, so the connection failed. Let's go ahead and open a random article and try it one more time. so the extension loads and again two connections were made one to metrics Evernote and another one to Google and for the sake of testing let's go ahead and load another page when I load the page no information is sent but it looks like every time I use the extension it sends the information back to Evernote on Google <coughs> and this may or may not be the full URL <coughs> excuse me the full URL that I'm visiting so this is how you find out whether extensions are sending any information or not that it was really that easy you don't need to install any third-party softwares I do not know whether um, 
developers are able to bypass this or not but uh, that's a whole new different topic thank you for watching